Welcome back to our digital haven, a place of stories and journeys. I'm Renner and Tech, your guide through the worlds of gaming. As we continue our epic quest towards playing a thousand games, don't forget to like and subscribe for more immersive experiences. Today, our adventure takes a turn towards the Stark and the Survivalists. We're braving the icy wilderness in the long dark. A game that's a stark contrast to our last journey. This is a tale of endurance and resilience set against the unforgiving backdrop of the frozen world. In the long dark, we confront the raw powers of nature and every decision can mean the difference between life and death. So make sure you're warm, perhaps with a hot cup of coffee or cocoa and join me in this chilling survival adventure. We'll face the solitude of the winter wilderness and find beauty in the quietness of the world of the long dark. <laughs> and we've got our timer going. So I guess I'm gonna do survival mode, a non-narrative exploration survival experience Day-to-day -day survival is the only objective. Play your own story. Um, so we're gonna go with start a new survival. Uh, it seems like there are different settings. So we've got Pilgrim for new players. Um, we've got Voyager for new players looking for a balance between exploration and survival. We've got Stalker for vet veteran players looking for a challenging experience. Um, and then Interloper for expert players looking for the ultimate survival challenge. I'm good. Not part of Mother Nature's plan? Oh my goodness, that's intense. I think I'm going to start off with Pilgrim, and at least the wildlife will not attack me. Oh, it seems like you can choose different regions to begin with. Um, I might go with Pleasant Valley. For advanced players? I mean, it's supposed to be pleasant though. Why is it so challenging? Wilderness region with few key shelters. Connects to mystery lakes. Uh, I don't really want to do any of those. Not the broken. What about Fountain Town? For new players, deep in decline, Milton offers shelters and wildlife, but if you leave town, beware. Sure, I guess I'll start here. <laughs> uh, and I'm gonna be a female survivor. Uh, name Sandbox. Holy fields. A mysterious storm has brought your plane crashing down into the northern Canadian wilderness. How long can you survive? Well, ho hopefully for like a night. Let's try one night and see where we go from there. Searching for food and water, the struggles for life in a world without masters, housed in a body that man has made dependent on himself. I am legend. <laughs> oh, um, so there's no tutorial. It just kind of sets you up in the game, in the wilderness, and the cold. Oh. I see wildlife, 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 Ooh, oh it looks like you can take some, Woo 
I tore my clothes and I've got bruising. Not off to a great start. Can I pick this up? I can pick up the sticks. Are we playing pick up 52? Just pick up sticks? I think step number one is probably finding... I'm gonna take all the sticks. Oh, that's interesting. I can see my footsteps. In case I get lost, I can always come back here. So, I think step number one is probably find shelter. Although, I do kind of want to know what the controls are. Um, so, badges, options, inventory. Oh, thank goodness I have a bag full of handy stuff handy stuff. Okay, so it looks like I have my character, calorie counter, my different temperatures. Uh, looks like I've got my clothing on. Seems like I'm well prepared. My different items. Got some matches, some water. Oh, different blueprints of what I can build. So I guess I can build a band-aid, which I probably want to do for my bruised ankle. Mm -hmm. Are those wolves? Oh, they're wolves. Oh, there's a wolf. Although, I think in Pilgrim, the wolf life doesn't attack you. So, at least I've got that going for me. But it's still so unsettling to just hear the wolves. Ooh, what's that? I'm gonna take that. And that. And that. I wonder what spray paint will be used for. Orca. No guess? Oh, interesting. Oh, no weapons. Well, that's unfortunate. Requires a pry bar? I'm just supposed to break in? Oh my goodness. Well, I really do need to find a way to get into shelter. And it doesn't seem like the sun is setting just yet, but... Step number one is shelter. Always. I guess the porta potties can be shelter? <laughs> oh goodness, no. Oh, they won't even let me go in. Can I go in the car? I can go in the car. Is there anything in the car? Nothing in the car. Well, I guess in case I can't find anything, I can always come back into the car. And hopefully survive just one night. Milton Park. Do I have a map? I'm somewhere in Mountain Town, but I haven't found any... Any... Like, my map doesn't reveal anything. I haven't found any shelter that I can stay in. Oh, is that a house? I like how the character sounds as if they're freezing. This is quite immersive. Like, oh my goodness. Uh, break down? Oh, interesting. So, I have more sticks now. Thankfully. 
Is that a pebble? Can I take the pebble? I'll take the pebble. <gasps> Food! What? Let me... Okay. Metal shelf. Hacksaw. Uh, I'm gonna start a fire. I have... Seven minutes is how long my fire is gonna last. I'd like something that lasts longer. Come on, fire. I don't want to freeze in the cold here. Uh, Why do you not walk? Uh, probably because I need more items. A uh, memento with a survival hint. Lexi swapped in some new gear at lockbox four. Might come in handy. Who's Lexi? Um, can I take the key? <gasps> Memento cache. Memento key. Paper. A computer. Great. I can dial for help. Apparently not. Anything in the drawer? Anything in this drawer? Crunchy stuff? <laughs> oh, I should also probably find warm clothing. Soda! Yes! I finally have food. Oh, I can store things here. might come in handy if this is where I decide to set up base. I mean, there's a bed, a cardboard box. Break this down. What? I thought I broke down the cardboard. of the wilderness. More pebbles. A picnic area. Um, I'm not falling here. I still haven't gone in any any way to like look on my map I guess. Do this. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Nope. Okay. Well, that wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But oh my goodness, I've never done any mountaineering. I've never like walked down a rope or something of that nature. So that was very terrifying. Oh. Oh, we'll say though, it is so, so snowy and beautiful climbing area. I don't think I should do any climbing. At least, 
Not with whatever current gear I have. Although I should look around for more shelter or head back to where I was. Where did that rope go? Okay, it's right there. Oh my goodness. That's just beautiful. The snowy peaks, the trees, adventure. Oh, although I can't really see anything worth exploring over there at the moment. At least, not right now since it seems like I'm too cold. I think my best course of action is to eat, get some energy going, and see if I can reattempt climbing this rope. Oh my goodness, I really need to get back up there. I have to go all the way around, that is going to be a nightmare and a half, especially because my poor character is freezing. Oh, we're almost there. Oh my goodness. Sprain wrist? Oh, I think it's because my-
just need flammable material, tinder plug, actions. Oh. Burn, burn the book. Goodness, nothing that I can do. I need to start a fire before my character freezes. Okay. Seems like I can get a fire going. I'm not going to do it. Hundred percent success rate. Add fuel. Okay. I've got two an hour and a half of fire. Try and then hopefully go back up to the lodge because my poor character can't make it. I don't have any items. Uh, four hours? Oh, I hope I can sleep for four hours and I won't freeze. So I have a full circle of stamina, and all I need to do is just make it back up here. That was the silliest thing to do, was explore and go down this mountaineer's rope. Who does that? Who just leaves mountaineer's rope out for enticing people to just walk down? It's not fair. Okay, 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 come on, come on. <gasps> Almost there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Just, just go. Oh my goodness. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, my character is now like super tired. Okay. I'm going to go into that cabin, I'm going to light a fire, which means I need some sticks, and more sticks, and then I have to learn how to make things, make, make things that will help me survive. Work. And my poor cat. 
character needs to sleep at least eight hours. I'm going to go with four, only because I need to make sure that I can sleep easily and no monsters get me in the dread of night. Oh, my sprain is healed. I can probably sleep. Oh no, it's minus six. Oh no, it is dark out. Um, I'm gonna sleep another four hours. And then hopefully I can go out and forage and learn how to make things because right now I don't know how to make anything. You have survived 18 hours, almost a whole day. That's all I'm hoping for. I just want to survive one whole day. Okay, let's sleep for another four. Oh, it's minus 12. Oh, that's freezing. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, what's in my hand? Okay. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna see if I can find some firewood. Taking that. Uh, I just need firewood. Can I break this? Can't break that apart. I still do need a crowbar in order to open that other building. Why won't my map? Uh, no clothing, no legs, no socks. Oh, probably should eat. to find some food and warmth. Do I have... I still have a few matches. Oh, probably don't want to spend that much research. When you're this cold? I don't have enough items, like, things to keep me warm. And I can't find any, like, sticks and... Oh, I'm so bad at survival. Oh my goodness, no. Just... No. I need sticks. I need sticks. And I don't want to go too far from, will this keep me warm? God, of course I can't find a pry bar yet. It's not like they just leave those things for you. At least the setting's beautiful. It's gorgeous outside today. Alrighty. Let's find some sticks, let's find a pry bar, let's learn how to craft something, because that's all there is in this town of Milton. I wonder where this road leads to. Hopefully to wherever there is a pry bar. I mean, 
It doesn't seem like my chances of surviving in the wilderness is really- Oh my goodness! My chances of sur surviving in the wilderness is not that great. I didn't even explore this! Like, it's filled with houses! I'm hoping I can find at least some articles of clothing to keep me warm. Oh! Oh my goodness, I found a house! Food poisoning by eating low condition food items. Well, that would be unfortunate. Alright, Milton. I will take the gloves. I'm so sorry for stealing. Cannot map indoors. I'm gonna take the stuff. Cause I am freezing. Oh. It's a toaster. <gasps> I found a flashlight. Oh my goodness. Maybe. Okay. I'm gonna leave. And I'm gonna see if maybe I can map. Blizzards are deadly in enduring storms. They freeze and damage your clothing. Wow. No kidding there, huh? I wonder what happened to the town of Milton. There's like houses out here, but no one's here? Okay. <gasps> that is how you survey the- Okay, it's okay, it's okay. We're going back in this random house with a Canadian flag on it. Okay, so I guess that's how I survey and map things out. Is this a different house? Same house. Um, I think the best thing, I'm so sorry who's ever home this is. Probably some pork and beans. Probably someone's like summer home. Everyone comes here in the summertime. I'm so sorry. I'm just taking all your stuff and searching through all the cabinets for food and clothing and warm. Interesting. Interesting. Taking the book. What was that, a can opener? Nothing over here. Searching... Clothing! No, just cloth. Well, someone left in a hurry. I wonder if anyone comes out to this town anymore. There's like a local guy, perhaps. Maybe someone to help, you know me find civilization because clearly if there's a town there's gotta be other people right okay let's put on clothing 26 50 51 nope pants 40 nope no accessories no new hats. Oh, where are my gloves? And no socks. Oh, a bed. It's a good thing my character's not sleepy anymore. Uh, anything in here? Some old socks. I should probably get rid of items I don't need. Well, it's a great thing someone has just left all their antibiotics and, 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 you know, medicine everywhere. Doesn't look like I can take a shower. Towel? Breaking down the towel. Probably need to find a hatchet somewhere so that I can break down some of the other items. Light sources, food, weapons, campfire, and then craft 
Interesting. Improved hand wraps. Uh, head wrap. I probably want one of these. Don't need any of those right now. Um, I need a sapling and a workbench. Don't have a lamp yet. Um, oops. I'm gonna craft this. Make myself a nice warm hat with all the flashy flashiness and where <laughs> my character sure looks silly but at least I'm warmer and with that on to the next house oh thank goodness I found some houses they keep you warm and you can always find torches and flares and fire fire items. Man, this game's a little bit eerie because it's just so quiet. And I think I've mentioned this before, but can you just imagine just life with background music all the time? And then life without background music is this game. Strategic. I'm gonna go into the house It's open! Yay! So yeah, kind of strange to be like playing a game where there's no music, no background noises other than just the wilderness. I mean, they are really trying to immerse you into the wilderness survival experience, but I could use like some tunes, some music please. Anything? Broken toaster. Oh, first aid. I will take that. I will take that. I will. <laughs> Tools for crafting and repairs. Good, good. I kind of don't want to look through all the cabinets. I do, however, have to start getting rid of anything that's making me encumbered. This stuff is going handy. Oh, plastic container. Interesting, interesting. A uh, nice one, bed. And seems like I need to hydrate. Okay, so in terms of the clothing, can put that away. Can put that away. That doesn't seem to be useful. Probably don't need that or that. Uh, replace these. Probably don't want this pair of pants. I also don't need that right now. Nor do I need these gloves. I will take these ones. Probably don't want that. Nor the sweater. I'll keep the baseball rag and there we go. So the house with the little children's set is where I stored all my spare clothing. I do have to drink something. Okay, I didn't drink my whole two liters. Alright, 
let's continue exploring because I need to find a pry bar. of attributes. Well, at least it's beautiful outside. And now let's see if I can find a crowbar. You are a pry bar. Oh my goodness. You'd assume I'd find something. Sharpened blades? Well, I haven't found any blades yet. Anything in here? No piled in. A lot of houses out here, but so far I haven't been able to find any tools. Oh, oh no. I still feel like if I had to survive in the wilderness, if I didn't start right in this town, I'd probably have no chance. I get to go to the post office. I'm gonna be a post person. Raishi mushrooms make for an effective antibiotic. Post office. Post office. Some candy. I'm gonna take that. And I will take that. And that. And breaking that down. Honestly, it's like Goldilocks and the three bears in the sense that I'm just coming into town, taking everything, and just this is kind of handy. pillaging this town's resources. Can you imagine all of the town folks are like at a bonfire or something out in the woods or in the park or doing some sort of weird small town cult things and here I am just like going through all their stuff and then they come back to town and they just find me sleeping oh that's sad sir I'm sorry I'm sorry sir oh now I kind of wish I didn't come into the post office. This was not... I'm leaving. That was awkward. But yeah, maybe the town folks are all just out in the park doing small town cult things. And they come back and they see I've pillaged all of their belongings and I'm just sleeping in someone's house. That would be awkward. Hmm. I wonder where to I Where are you 
find all the things you need. Weather turning bad? Take shelter. Table, table. Take charcoal. Searching the freezer. Searching the fridge. Should probably take a nap only because uh, oh the radio doesn't work just like the last house lots of books everywhere can't break down I don't have a hatchet yet a coat no, no coat. Take charcoal. Start a fire. Sure. I'm gonna start a fire. <laughs> I haven't done too badly. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna start a fire. Round two. First try. What? Come on. Come on. I agree. We need to start a fire. We've got this. It's kind of strange that you can fail at starting a fire, but Come on, I mean, I also don't know how to start a fire. Like, at all. If I don't have matches, so. Okay, there we go. Oh, yeah. Add fuel. Add fuel. Add fuel. Okay, that fuel. So, looks like I can read for two hours. Use research. Research. Oh no, the sun's setting. Researching. Research. And it looks like the sun has set. It's too dark to read. At least the house is still warm. Oh my goodness, this is so dark and creepy. I think I have a flashlight, right? No, where's my flashlight? I grabbed one, didn't I? a flare indoor, but what? Okay. And up we go, up we go, up the stairs. Oh, this is so creepy. All I can think about is a horror game. And sleeping for eight hours. survived two nights now. If I can survive up to three, I will be happy. What? Okay, maybe a day and a half is all I've survived now. I guess I'm gonna sleep for one more hour until the sun rises. Only because this are you kidding me? It's still dark? And I'm not tired enough? Without the benefits of sleep? Well, that kind of feels pointless. Okay, drink some water. Oh no. 
now there's music? Why is there music now? That's so terrifying, only because like, it's not calming music. It's like on edge scary music. Can you not game? Okay, I'm just gonna advance time until the sun rises. There we go. Less creepy. I will take this. I've got charcoal. I'm warm. I've eaten. And hopefully there's no blizzard outside. Or it will become ruined. Strange. Still haven't found any hatchet, pry bar, knife. Like, you think these would be things I'd find in any of the Milton houses, but I guess these people just never need that kind of stuff. Are you kidding me? All I, all I asked was that there was no blizzard. And there's a blizzard? There's just no point. There's just no point. Back in the house until the blizzard passes over. Oh, I guess I can continue reading that book. And... Where was that book? Sure. Let's do the last three hours of research. I'm a genius now. Research completed. Uh, now, let's try and leave and hopefully three hours have passed. So hopefully the blizzard has passed too. Either that or I can just go into another house. At least it'll give me something to explore. Oh, thank goodness. Achoo. Achoo. Oh, all this cold has got my sniffles going. I think I'm somewhere over here. No, up here. So I'm gonna keep going this way. And then maybe when I get to the bridge, I'll be able to map it out. Just map it out. And I definitely need to find out how to craft. So, I probably want a snare. I have none of prepared birch bark. Well, I don't have any crafting skills, unfortunately. Oh. Mm. to where this sign is and survey here. Oh, this is the bridge I just crossed and there are mushrooms over here somewhere. There we go.
I can take two. Which I should probably do because my character is getting hungry. The woodlot? Few cars. It looks like there's a church up up on the street there. Any hatchets? Any pry bars? Please. All I'm asking is a hatchet or a pry bar. Oh, I think that is a chapel. A place of worship. And I'm gonna go explore. Oh, it's getting colder. Oh, that's not good. Alrighty. Navigation, charcoal, surfing. Yeah, St. Christopher's Church. A vehicle. And some cattails. Well, I'm going in. It's a place of worship, so I'm sure they don't mind if I take anything. I mean... Right? Hopefully they have a few things. I'm not taking any books from here. I'll take this though. There's a pew. An organ. I'll take scars. The uh, antibiotics. Oh. And nope. A lot of books over here. Granola bar. A little disappointing there's no like knife. All I'm looking for is like one knife. I just like to create one snare. I would like one hatchet, please. Well, that's all there is to this place. Sure. Take the cloth. And maybe I can grab drinking unpotable water can lead to dysentery. Well, I don't want any of that. No, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> I found a pot. Um, why does my map keep doing that? It just wants me to head the other way, but I'm not sure why. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this over here. I'm gonna keep exploring. Yeah. Woodlot. The mushroom. Let's go. Adventure. Mm, it doesn't seem like there's much out here. But you never know. I see adventure. Hmm. Is that a city limit sign? It just tells you Milton is that way. I hope I've gone far enough that if I survey this area... Okay. Um, interesting. 
Interesting. I think it might move around. But I'll go through the woods back into town. Because I see my time in the wilderness is short. Aw, oh, what a cute puppers. What a cute puppers. Oh, I take full damage, I can't. survivors, our journey through the harsh yet hauntingly beautiful wilderness of the long dark draws to a close. I'm very thankful for your companionship, and if this adventure has inspired you, I kindly invite you to subscribe and continue with me on this quest through a thousand games. As we leave behind the silent snowscapes and the challenges of survival, let's remember the lessons of endurance. And until our paths cross again in the next chapter of our gaming saga, take care, find strength in the quiet moments of life, and remember, be kind to yourselves even in the coldest of times. 